Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to the battlefield. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, we have a 4v4. Now, this battle, man, I'm very excited to see this one. Had some crazy, crazy good close kills here on the field today. Um, but before we get into that, let us let us look at the map itself, because both sides kind of spawn pretty far away from each other. Um, as you can see here, basically the coalition way over here, Imperial over here. I mean, I had to fast forward several minutes in before we even got to the point. But there is a one-pointer kind of in the center and then two four-pointers on the sides here. And uh, yeah, so basically in order to win this map, you have to hold at least two of these points. Now, the fo biggest focal point usually is going to be the center LOC here. Uh, so that's guaranteed going to be a focus, focused point for both sides. The French look like they may have a bit of an advantage. Nice little river that runs in between both sides uh, with some tree lines here. You can see already we have uh, Russia actually pushing across this side. I mean, that's definitely uh, definitely French usually get to this nice little hill and then it's a fight with the LOC, this kind of area right here being the uh, less less fought over area minus the center but you know in today's fight it seems to be a little different now on the french side let's go over the armies there so you have a france seven russia sud you have a six napoli an 11 france russia center and a 10 france espana on the other side you have a nine point or sorry i think it's eight point where are they eight point ottoman uk and 10 russia a 9 Austria, and then a 7 Austria on the flank here. Ooh, actually, we have a little bit of Cav maybe running around with themselves. It would appear. Running around with the Austrian Chevaliers. Let me drop this map back. So it looks as of right now like the Coalition have kind of focused in the center. They have a bit of a right flank as well um, with the Ottomans pushing up. Now, the Ottomans are bringing some UK troops. They also, of course, are bringing some of the Ottoman troops because it'd be kind of weird if they didn't. Uh, unless they'd even have uh, more of the elite Ottoman lines to back up. Um, I do not think, yeah, they did bring some artillery, not a ton. And then, of course, you saw all the cavalry way up front that they do have. Mostly Ottoman cavalry. Russia is bringing those Dragoons and Cavalguard. He does also have a horse artillery. And then a, I believe, a six-pounder, plus some just some regular lines of infantry, maybe some grenadiers or guard, actually guard here, um, plus maybe some, I don't even know what kind of unit that is. Looks kind of cool, though. Plus more in the back here, some grenadiers. Okay, so they have a pretty good army. I like this Russian army. That's a very, very well-chosen army. Austria rolling in with... Um, a lot of line infantry, of course, with some artillery. So it's like six guns of artillery. And like I said before, cavalry's up front for them. Ulanin looks like some Chevaliers. Um, the other Austria, seven-pointer, he's pushing up his cavalry to support this side. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks like they are going to go for this LOC. Now, we did see for a moment, probably from this scouting of this uh, C8 as well as the C7, they got to see the French in Naples armies probably showing where they're going, which I guarantee you they're about to take this LOC. You can hear the drums. They're right here. And this is a very good position for France. They have, I was about to say, artillery they can set up right here. How funny. <laughs> it's like they, it's like, I mean, hey, I'm not wrong. You can see right here. They are in a position to just chew up the enemy already get the first shots of this battle off from naples um i'm assuming the french they could easily put a more artillery even over here this is a nice position they have the river kind of protecting that flank you can see it branches at this nice little y but it is an actual river be kind of a, a nice place to go fishing or you just sit on the edge of, of the creek and relax if it wasn't about to be a raging fight in this area and of course that barrier, the nice natural tree and river or stream barrier um, spans all the way, nice little bridge and then more of it over here. But this natural barrier, it's just somewhere that now the coalition can fall back to. Now it does like Russia is pushing across this river or stream. I keep calling it a river because in New Mexico, we don't got nothing. So if we see a small little like stream, we almost feel like it's a river just cause, you know, desert. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, Rush is going to go straight towards this. Nice little blocks of wall and tree to kind of be defensive. It's actually going to break up some of the cav charges that um, the enemy may throw at you. You know, if you're sitting here and cavalry rushes in, there's only a couple spots they can actually go through, I think, at some points. But Naples looks like they are just setting up. So they aren't necessarily... Uh, they're just defending the left flank, and you can see the coalition's pretty far away. And I'd be, I, I wouldn't even try to. If Naples wants to sit on this hill, I wouldn't even take that fight. I'd push towards the center and maybe stack artillery here to cover that side, and then uh, push the center where France would be more focused on. Because you can see, there's two generals over here for France, and then uh, is there another general back? Not another general over here. The seven pointer on the flank. So France in the center, very strong. I mean, like you saw 11, I think, in a 9-pointer are in the center with the weak points, the 8 or is it 6? I know I just said it. So a 6 or a 7 on each side. That's that's pretty weak. That's pretty strong center and a pretty weak flank. Not necess I mean, not necessarily a weak flank, but weaker maybe. I mean, Naples can take a line fight unless you can shock them with some heavy cab and infantry and smack into the lines very quickly on. Uh, you're probably not going to defeat them, especially since now they have this beautiful artillery position with five guns set up on it. Um, interestingly enough, the Ottomans seem to be going for the far flank. Pushing with the cavalry, pushing all their army, all their infantry. You see the artillery is actually tearing up this whole side here, interestingly enough. And then you have all these guns over here just firing from pretty far away. We do have Naples. I think they discovered that there is enemies right here, some some cavalry, so they pulled back. But the lines are being drawn, guys. You can see on the field the red. And we do have France pushing forward. He actually sees the running troops. They will tire very quickly if he runs them for too long. I think he's worried about not getting to this LSC before the Russians do, and Russia is just pushing really quickly. In fact, I think he has a very high likelihood of taking this out. Never mind. I was about to say, he can take the LSA. France is here. Uh, so Russia should be very, very cautious unless he's <coughs> excuse me, prepared to um, unless he's prepared to go into melee immediately with France. <coughs> it does look like this is a lot of Polish infantry here. Maybe some Vistula Legion. But definitely heavy French presence already in the town. Even more French presence on the flank here. Yeah, Skirmisher is already set up to take on this 8-point Austria. 7-point, you're still way in the back, still trying to move up. Um, so it looks like Russia's the center, and uh, so is Austria, I guess. Or technically even Russia's a flank, because Austria, or the Ottomans have gone way far right. Um, they are going for the far left flank of the Imperials. Well, it looks like the French are concentrating a lot on this right side. They are pushing with at least one French army. So we have one French army fighting for the town, for the one-pointer. Um, the other two French armies, the seven-pointer and, I mean, we don't actually know what this pointer is. They're pushing up here. It looks like the Austrians may be actually prepping for a defensive fight at the moment. They need to get their artillery set up. They have their infantry um, being put up into a defensive line, maybe getting some reserves as well. Uh, just getting in a good position. They got to defend the Russian flank because Russia, well, they're prepping for a fight of their own. Now, France probably is not going to want to actually attack this position. They don't want to get too close to the Russian melee bear, if you want to call it that. Um, but it does appear we're going to have three separate engagements, potentially. Although, this whole engagement could turn into one large engagement. But we do have the Ottomans, who may be actually taking a, a more aggressive p position. And uh, Naples, I would, I'd like to see more reserve lines from Naples. I mean, they just have couple of what five lines I guarantee you the UK could easily outshoot them in the UK are pushing a lot of cavalry over the side as well um, Naples doesn't have to take this fight if I was if I was France I would either 
shift over, forces here, or tell Naples to fall back away, although they definitely will be slow in comparison. But notice how they have their lines strung out all along here. The UK, if I was the UK, I would push up troops just right here only and try to engage them in a fight and then put more along the flank. And if they pull troops away, then, you know, you just keep inching them further and further back. Now, we, I think we do finally have some engagement here. France going against Russian guard. But we do have artillery from Austria defending their allies' position without even having to really push their troops into a more aggressive position. They can sit back with the artillery, and you can see actually driving back the French from that position, defending their allies' left flank. And now Russia can push up artillery here, and they can actually use this as kind of a kill zone to stop any French advance here, so that France has to either advance into the forest or into the town. Um, the forest would definitely be good for the um, for the Austrians so they could get into a nice shooting match here. Alright, Naples is showing a couple more lines, I think. Yeah, we're starting to see a little more. We even have some French cavalry here. We've got some dragoons. So they do have some support. They at least are not hung out on their own. Um, I'm not sure if this light cav is going to try to go for artillery kill at some point. Um, but yeah, both sides, guys, are still filling out the others, trying to see where they can kind of get an edge. Right now, like I said, the coalition definitely being defensive. Um, the seven-pointer pushing across. You can even see this seven-point Austria taking on the seven-point France. He is kind of hiding troops in the forest to kind of maybe ambush um, the seven-pointer. And then he can fall in line here. He has a nice little reserve force artillery set up in a high position as well in the elevated road. Um, but he can push forward and defend this left flank of Austria. But right now, they're kind of just waiting to see what happens. And I guess we will see what will happen in just a little bit. I've not seen... Okay, we have French... We have French artillery now way up on the hill, which is what I said before. You know, good positioning for them. They can fire quite far and still be safe. And they can fire over their own soldiers' heads and hit, you know, Russia, even Austria here. So far, just a lot of waiting. It does look like Naples is mirroring the uh, Ottomans. However, it does look like the Ottomans are moving away. Um, if anything, they could leave a small contingent of forces, maybe. Pull the rest back and actually come in and help over here and basically make Naples think they're defending a whole 9-point UK, or is it 8-point? Yeah, it's an 8-point. Maybe uh, the Naples would fall for it, maybe not. I never encourage people, I always discourage people from branching, like pushing away from your enemy or from your allies. Always be close to your allies. So Naples technically should be right here with their army. In fact, I would even tell them to have troops right here. They put your artillery to block the UK. The UK cannot do well when there's tons of artillery pushing against you. It looks like we do have a bit of a, a skirmish here. Oh, shooting at some cavalry trying to drive them back as they then start advancing. Imagine being the French, you've been given orders to advance into this tree line. You don't necessarily know what you're going up against. You see some, some Austrian cavalry, you give them a volley, they pull back. This line is definitely still hidden. You now, so they're not going to know what they're going up against. And then out of nowhere, they'll push up, and boom, there's going to be an Austrian line just waiting. And here we go, another ambush. Another nice volley by Austria, pushing back some cavalry here. These guys are still hidden. They're just waiting their chance, waiting their time. And like I said, artillery is beautifully placed here so that it can force any any French army that tries flanking here is going to get blasted in the face by artillery. Oh, they're not hidden anymore. It's hoping they get a volley off. But I think France is going to fall back. They do not like that position either. The, the, the Imperials just got to figure out where they want to attack at this point. Um, even though they do have LOC advantage, it's pretty early on. I wouldn't be worried as a coalition. I wouldn't even be worried about LOC. Not for at least another, you know, 25, 30, 40 minutes. Oh, we may actually have some troops firing against the French. I 
There we go. We have a bit of a engagement here. Oh, that's some cheap infantry for Fritz. Oh, this stuff is not going to stand against Austria. These guys with the white shirts. And also they keep readjusting their line. You don't have to worry as France. I mean, don't don't adjust your whole line. Adjust portions of it. Like for instance, if someone's right here, ooh. We have some cavalry. Now they're gonna get shot by this Austrian infantry. Or not. But it's like the Lancers are being sent out to stop the French. And I think they'll do just fine stopping them dead in their tracks. And they actually can now counterattack, maybe go for some artillery. They're definitely gonna go for some skirmishers, although, oh, the slaughter. I wouldn't do it just because you need that Lancer to defend your artillery piece still. That, oh, okay, yeah. See, and now what are you gonna do? You, I mean, you have to send your Crossier to defend because they're gonna go for your artillery again. Now, Russian Dragoons may, tr may, may get to part of this cavalry force, but no, they're not going to. Oh, man. Nah. Oh. Okay, one of the artillery got so rush. Uh, France definitely is going to lose their cavalry, but one of the artillery pieces, if not both, may get broken. However, with this cav fight going back and forth, now it's another counter charge here. And, ooh, what do we have here? We have a seven pointer sending in some Kazakis on the flank here. And this line, which is not the greatest quality of uh, infantry, is going to just start rolling over itself here. I think we have some cav maybe going for some artillery. Yep, we have some Dragoons who are going to try to counter that. Eh, it's not going to do much. But yeah, I mean, Austria lost a gun. France lost two cav units. I think a Dragoon plus a Skirm plus, well, whatever was that first cavalry unit. And then, oh my gosh, really? France is just throwing away cavalry. They're sending in some Chasseur Cheval now, and they probably will break this Austrian artillery piece as well. Um, so now France could advance, you know, but at what cost? Do you think this was truly worth it um, for France? I mean, France has got to advance now. Like, I, they better have troops right here or just going in for this flank with some cavalry. Imagine get across the ears right here. I would go right here without even looking to see if this is a square. I would go in right here with heavy cap and then follow it up with some infantry as well. It'd be perfect. Now, Austria may actually fall back just because, uh, well, <laughs> they don't have a lot of uh, artillery support for their flank anymore. Ottomans have kind of given up on this Naples fight. The center's still not really going anywhere. We may have the seven points here pushing forward, though. They seem a little nervous to push into the forest. But as of right now, it's not really... Uh... Yeah, nothing really developing too much. However, like I said, guys, France technically has LSC advantage. They don't actually have to attack. Um, they really don't have to attack. They can sit back with their guns and let the French, let the coalition make a move. That's why I said Naples. If only they pushed over here to their allied support. Um, they are so strung out, and there's nothing facing them. If you are ever in this position, even if imagine you can't see any of this, but you see, you know, you think there's enemy troops there. This is why light cab is so important. Scout it out. If you don't see anything anymore, every once in a while, if you just wait a little while, and nothing's happening. Scout it out. See what they're doing. Because if, think if they sent a light cav unit here they didn't see any infantry well then you could be pushing all these reinforcements over to help your allies because if there's no enemy in front of you you shouldn't stay there it doesn't it, it doesn't matter how good of a position you have it don't waste it now ooh. oh yes this is exactly what i was talking about oh that's beautiful some cavalry got some guys and now some French infantry are gonna go up with them. Oh, that's beautiful. That that just needs to be followed up. I hope France follows it up with some lines. Russia though is gonna try to support that with some some ahead some look at that, can't talk. Some Russian guard. If only more French infantry or cavalry was pushing over here already. 
Either way, guys, you can see France now. They are pushing troops in. Unfortunately, it may be not enough. But why aren't they charging? Oh, I'm getting stressed here now. Here we go. Cavalry pushing in. I think France forgot about their infantry there. More cavalry, though. Oh, yes. All right, all right. So they did a form square, stopping that cavalry, but still... You can see France is actually making some headway. Now they should pull that cavalry back. Oh my gosh, that just... All right, guys, sorry, it crashed in the midst. So we are back a little bit earlier than uh, we were before just to make sure we don't catch anything with this crazy, crazy mass route by Austria. Very disastrous right flake and a kind of a, a crazy turn of events. The French using a lot of their cavalry to bully back the Austrians, although the coalition has quite a bit of cavalry, in fact, it looks like they may actually be rolling for a counterattack over France, seems to be a little bit ready for it, not sure if they have squares in this, but now we have some across the airs clashing, oh man, so much cavalry, ooh, actually we have a little bit of a, a fight here, it looks like, So, yeah, there's some Austrians clashing with the French over here. Squares formed, so Austria may have to actually fall back. And they are actually getting charged here, forming a square, though, so things are looking okay for them. Let's get back to the real action here. Austria trying to go for that bayonet, that line fight still raging. But more and more cab being poured into this right flank, and now we're starting to see the columns from France advancing on the flank. Not a good sight as the coalition to see. In fact, it may be high time for them to fall back and uh, maybe let Russia push up to reinforce because it's obvious France is going. If I could draw a line right now, guys, it would be right here. That is bad. Um, and nothing else seems to really be happening here. Yeah, nothing really happening. It's obviously a raging fight though. France has held and in fact done an excellent job here. More cavalry being thrown in. These crossiers trying to make some uh, gains. And now we have some grenadiers charging in, trying to start breaking this French line. And they may finally get that break they need. Still nothing but a line fight over here. Now on this flank, oh, what happened? So hard to see. Some guard decor stopping some French cavalry as France starts advancing. I have to zoom in or just see whatever is happening here. You see France pushing on the Austrian line, all those squares being formed. Oh, the forests are going to be a pain. Oh, wow. So Chevalier is charging in on this French reserve line that was pushing in. Russia has some guard units, basically, and that's it trying to hold this kind of gap that's been created by France. And France is trying to exploit that to the best of their abilities. Now, France does appear to be running out of cavalry. As Austria is now pushing back this French line, you can see they are being routed. And what's remaining of them is actually going to start falling back. As Austria victoriously will finally push, they seem to have finally made a little bit of an advance. However, you know, they took some real heavy losses there. And now we actually have France getting engaged by Russia. So they are pushing up. Austria actually helping with that fight too. So France is full on attacking this entire side. You can see another charge here. All this Polish cavalry really trying to break the French line. If they can break this line, that is a big portion of the French out of the way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what's happening here, France? Or, uh, uh, Austria? They're actually in a bit of trouble here. Seven Pointer actually making some real pushes here. And, uh, it, they probably should pull back out of the tree line so they can actually see what's happening here. Because this is not looking good. France is actually getting a bayonet charge off right there on that flank. Austria... Oh, more cavalry charging in. Ooh, they actually got a back charge of their own men. But France is pushing on Russia here. You can see they have pulled out the full-on attack. If only Naples was here. Naples should be pushing across here. They are actually hurting their allies. 
They need to start pushing. The Cabal Guard is here, though, to try to save this once more. And uh, if we look at the tree line, France is caught in more melee here, but they have a couple troops fighting way over here. But their center is all but starting to look a little weak. Definitely starting to look a little weak. Oh my gosh, cavalry in the back lines. This seven point here seems to be doing an excellent job of breaking the seven point Austria. This is a very even game. You can see the mass route starting as France is just starting to advance. Chaos is starting to run along the lines after the death of a general from Austria. And now things seem to be kind of clearing up a little bit. France still in a little bit of a fight here, but we don't want to miss this fight over on this side as Russia, they're using this wall to defend as France pushes into this orchard of sorts, this kind of grove. Oh man, look, oh, Imperial, if, if, if Naples doesn't push out here, they literally, okay, they do have some troops here. They should have pushed their entire army though. I'm shocked that they have over half their army just sitting on this hill, doing nothing. That That is, that is a missed opportunity in my opinion. A huge missed opportunity. And this seven pointer, man, they are getting just absolutely pushed back with whatever's left. They need to pull back the remainder of this army and push it up with their ally, who is, after such a bloody fight, now probably gonna have to start pulling back. France was pretty blooded here, but they are pushing forward. You can see this advancing column. Russia, Russian has their guard here. Oh, yeah, we have Austria actually going for another bayonet charge, trying to save part of their line. As France counterattacks here. Oh my goodness, I missed it. Yeah, France went for a bayonet charge, it looks like. setting in some of their grenadiers. But they need Naples to start pouring in some fire on the flank. I mean, Naples isn't even firing a shot. I'm not sure what their plans are. But, I mean, it's very obvious that the Ottomans are sitting right here and not in front of you. I mean, just who cares about your artillery? Push the infantry over. Oh, nice charge by the Dragoons. Just, they're trying to stop this French attack in any way they can, cycling troops in and out. This Austrian line trying to desperately hold here. Now, this Austrian army can get back to their other forces. They could use this artillery to be defensive, put it all up here, and force back this seven pointer. Because this seven pointer is looking very strong still. They have a lot of troops left. Maybe not cavalry, but they have a lot of infantry. And that may be all they need to keep pushing that side. Oh, good. Okay, so we do have Naples pushing troops across. Still, they have so much sitting right here. I am really surprised. They haven't pushed an entirety of their army. Imagine how, imagine the entirety of Naples sitting right here and rolling into the Ottoman army. Imagine the, how, how deadly that would be if uh, Naples just was so, so aggressive. They could really push them back. I mean, screw their artillery. They need cavalry. Naples needs to scout with their light cav. I'd start probing the side with my light cavalry. Um, if they're still concerned about troops being there, you can always scout and run them away, guys. That's the beautiful thing. You can always run your cavalry away. Naples is still running just with that French advance, still not stopping. Russia is holding their own for now, but they're not really built for shooting. If France plays their cards right, they can just outshoot the Russians here. I'm surprised the UK are not getting more aggressive. Maybe they don't have the greatest quality troops here yet, but, you know, get up and start maybe even taking some places from Russia. 
so that Russia can then mass up for an attack somewhere. Now, Austria is still holding their ground here, but like I said, I think it'd be best for them to fall back to their guns, um, make the French come to them, especially considering this center is looking extremely weak. Now, we do have that Cabal Guard once more going in for the French. And we have Austria going for the bayonet charge. Now, France could take a moment. I, and if I were them, I would take a moment to rest. Let the seven-pointer start pushing. The seven-pointer obviously has been making some successful plays. And they could push up and just start chipping away at this flank. And France just needs to stand still for a little bit. Rest their troops up. Um, maybe a little bit of this action will change here. We do have Naples. They're getting chewed up by that artillery piece. They have artillery of their own, which hopefully is focusing down here. They just got to click right behind this unit, and all five of those guns would plaster these Ottomans. It, this isn't what's killing the, the Naples army. It's the artillery sitting right here. However, with the UK pushing forward even more troops here, they can easily start getting a nice angle on the Naples army. Ooh, whoa, we have a huge cab charge in the center again. Dragoons on both sides clashing here. French infantry maybe trying to go up and support that side. Both sides have still cav dominance. So both sides unable to make some real plays unless so happens to be that the you know the cavalry like this Austrian line getting hit. There unfortunately was not a lot of cav oh I actually no there was. They just played it right. So it's like there are Austrian there was Austrian cavalry behind this Austrian line. They just weren't able to be effective or even see that French cavalry charge coming. This fight is still in favor, technically, of the French. They have an LOC. They still have armies. They have not. In fact, if anything, I think the coalition has lost more men and more percentages of their armies than the French have. And this seven-pointer has done beautifully well. To, and it was at least an even fight, the seven-pointer versus seven-pointer. Like I said, once the once Austria gets their guns in range and is able to turn them around, they can start really hitting this French army, and they actually may make some real game-winning plays using the artillery. Now Naples is taking some heavy losses. The thing is, they don't actually have to fight this. They just gotta protect the flank of France. So they can even fall back even more and force the coalition to go closer to the guns. I'm glad to see that they're there, you know, not just sitting up on the hill. That, that would, that would, the movie's starting to stress me out seeing them not moving. Such a peaceful little stream up until the coalition got here. And now it's the center of a fight, a raging line fight. Russia, like I said, holding their ground just fine. You got some more Caval Guard action happening here. You know me, you know I love Caval Guard. It's one of my favorite heavy cav units. Get a nice charge off on the French. 
unfortunately, this volley, unless he attacks them immediately, they're going to volley the Cavil Guard directly, point blank. Uh, not. Well, I don't know. Oh, man, the artillery. Oh, no. Get it out of there. Just pull it back. Pull it back, please. Oh my gosh, so much happening here, all of a sudden. So we have more Dragoons that sandwiched these two lines. Broke them, and now they potentially go for some artillery. However, they're going to be met with more Dragoons from France. A nice flank charge, even more Cavalas clashing over here. It's just a mess. However, France seems to be maybe coming off on the worst foot here. Yeah, they're losing big time. Oh, wow. Okay, so... I'm seeing Russian Cavalry Guard still in this. Dragoon still in this. And now some C7, some Light Cav charging himself in. Like I said, though, there is a square that is doing some pretty deadly work. Russia's just got to be careful of this square. But you can see France trying to go maybe for artillery pieces. You have to go for artillery, maybe even a general. Um, so they're, they're making some gains here on that big, huge cap general, fight. Now they must break. And, uh, yeah, they did kill a French general, even. I believe that was the 11 point France Russia center. Now you can see over here, oh my gosh. France went for the cold steel against Russia. I was wondering why I saw so much routing or some wavering here. Oh man, Russia not looking too good. Now they've been in a line fight for quite some time. Thankfully the Ottomans are there to help them out. You can see Naples surprisingly came out of nowhere here on the flank. Now if Naples just gets super aggressive, doesn't have a strung out line, like these units could be collapsing and these units could be, in fact these three could be sitting in the back as the reserve line and push forward these six lines, start hitting on the Ottomans in coordination. The Ottomans are stuck here. If they try pushing across the river, you could end their whole career, their whole life, uh, just in that one moment. Now, th this side is definitely cleared up. France is not winning there anymore. Um, but you see, ooh, oh, wow. The canister. And uh, this seven pointer is in a huge danger again. Look at this flanking charge here. Oh man, no. Run away, Austria. Seven pointer once again doing an excellent job, really, really destroying the seven. Um, but we do have more than nine pointer pushing over to help him out. Russia has put some distance between themselves and the French. And I think Austria will be just, or not Austria, the Ottomans will be just fine. Naples does not have the greatest quality of infantry. They have enough to definitely keep this army in check for a while. Um, but France is the real key here, guys. If they can start pushing on the Ottomans, like I said, if they, they can't fall back across the river. They have to actually make a withdrawal along this side. Just because the river will slow them down too much. But you see France has pushed Russia entirely out of the town. And technically, they don't have to do anything but hold because they will win by LOC victory. As long as they have the four-pointer and one of the other one-pointers plus this one, they will win LOC victory. And we are getting at the 25, almost 25-minute mark. This is where it starts to count. All right, so the Ottomans are going to pull back across the river. The um, Naples the isn't close enough, actually, thankfully. So they can actually make their way across. The thing I'm talking about, why, if you see an army on this side of the river... You want to push up as close as you can, get really aggressive, because they're going to have to push across. And look, they definitely slow down. If you were charging, if you were, like, right here, you could charge in and really get a nice, juicy bayonet charge and cause some morale. Crashes. Now, they're going to have a rear guard set up. And Russia is consolidating with them. France doesn't have to push this. Uh, and, in fact, we... Ooh, we're seeing the beginning of the end for uh, Aud the Austrians. 
fought so bravely, but they are surrounded. Oh, there's Austrians on the other side. Traitors. Little Austrian traitors on the wrong side of the fight, killing their own brothers. How, how treacherous is that? You think they're reinforcements, and then you see the French flag, and then you see them shoot you in the face, and man, talk about rocking your world. It's like, man, the shock before you die. <clears throat> now, I do think the French are going to win this one. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's going to be much of a chance. This set, this French army over here is way too strong. They're about to encircle the Austrians. There's a little bit of Russia left and a little bit of Aus a little like not nah, not even a little. There's half of Russia left, and then the Ottomans. Unless the French in the Naples make some huge mistakes, this is a last desperate defense that the coalition are going to make. But what a fight that was! And that that was a lot of cav involved. Good quality cav, mind you. And that's why it is so important to have good quality cavalry. We have the Austrian general get into the thick of the fight. Oh, there he is. Can he survive? Nope, he's gonna die. Oh no, he's back, he's backing out of there. He's like, I'm fine. I can get out of here. What, he got out of there? He got out of there. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, life did him really dirty. He's getting dragged by a horse. It's not even bad enough that he uh, lost the battle. He's getting a mouthful of earth in his face as he's getting dragged by his horse. He's like, I'll take you back. I'll take you back to the capital. That's right, bro. I got you. Rip. <laughs> you can see him just <laughs> flop around. He's getting dragged away. That is rough. <laughs> Oh, I love the NTW3 animations, or just Napoleon Total War animations. It's rather funny. Right, I'm just going to hit the fast forward button just a little bit, because it looks like the French may be waiting for their allies to push across the river here on the flank um, before Naples even charges. Now, the only, the only unfortunate thing, Naples didn't get much action, guys. Um, I mean, they were kind of sitting for a little while. Unfortunately, they didn't get a lot of action. But, you know, I, I guess it's good to have a backup army, just in case. Uh, but yeah, the, the coalition, they're going to start probably falling back to a more defensible position. If they fall back to this river, maybe they can stop the flank by the seven-pointer. Um, okay, maybe it's more of a fast-forward button because nothing's happening yet. Naples has a chance here, though. Naples has a chance to push in here and get some nice, beautiful, juicy volleys off on the Ottomans as they march. I think they're going to try to do that. Yeah, you can see they're they're shooting. I don't know how good the shots are, but harassing the Ottomans as they push across yet another river. Uh, we'll, we'll just keep fast forwarding here unless something happens here, because yeah, there's there's a significant amount of the army left. Unless the coalition managed to bamboozle and take a bunch of LOCs, um, which they could. Like I said, this is when you want to. Uh, when you want to really pay attention to LOCs where your troops are. Um, it looks like we have the French now pushing. Oh, oh. See, Naples had cavalry. Now they're running to a square immediately. Beautifully received cab charge. Like I said, you can see France, they're just going to try to push for the flank again. I mean, I'm assuming they have some squares right here to deal with the Russian cavalry that's left. 
here we go, the Russian line, ready to receive them. They got their guard units. Brave Russians. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. French. Oh, they've been fighting. I like how they have the Polish there. Once again, you know, the Polish, how they probably feel about the Russians around this time period. They didn't like them. And considering all the other, you know, factions that didn't back them up when Russia did invade them, they probably don't care much for the coalition. The Polish don't, I'd imagine. I don't really know too much of my history on the Polish-Russian. I'm learning it a little bit, but oh yeah, look at this. We have some, some Austrians left. Let's see, 16 minutes remaining, guys, and this fight is still, it's a 2v2 or maybe a 3v2. This may be a while. Naples can afford to, you know, really do a lot of action. Oh, we have some cavalry making a move here. Oh, can they make it? Will they make it? Oh, beautiful charge here right across the river, trying their best to try to break the French. Now, technically, they could mass route the French. Um, oh, but they're, they're getting shot up too badly. And France is probably going to start making their push. Yep, look at this. They're going to make their push across now. The first of this advancing column probably gonna ab gonna get absolutely shredded oh no the UK should have stopped kept shooting oh they're going for some melee using some Ottomans oh and Russia even pushing down the hill Here we go, boys. This is it. This is it for the coalition. They gotta make it or break it here. And there's so much Naples left. Our men are running. Oh, the cab got getting their fair share too. Or maybe not. They're going back. They beat back the first of the French attacks. How's Naples doing here? They seem to be, you know, still in a stillmate. The Ottomans seem to be doing just fine. Now, the seven-pointer is probably really going to start chewing up this left side, unfortunately. Um, Russia's been such a long-standing fight. They have their best troops on the left flank, but it's probably not going to be enough. I don't know what unit this is. This unit looks a little different. I can't lay my finger to it, but it is. they look different.
If the Coalition pulled this off, this would be the longest, like, last stand turn to, you know, turn to... Well, no, it's not going to matter. I will see. They don't have it. <clears throat> oh, oh. I may have to unpause it here in a second just because it looks like we may have... Um, the seven points are making a big move. That's a lot of infantry. Uh, they're pushing up on this flank. Yeah, Russia's gonna shift their cavalry over. Still, this side, this is where France has gotten their foothold. I can imagine they're gonna just try to put the full weight of their army on this foothold. Cap charge. Square gets formed. Damn. Cavalry still cycling in and out, but we do have a general dead. That is the Ottoman general, I do believe. Both sides are really dishing out the pain on the other. Heavy cab going in once more, trying to skip that square. Oh man, they gotta be so exhausted. Yeah, they're tired. There's 27 of them left. They are starting to break the seven point tie roll. Where's the general for Inspires? Oh my gosh, no way. Rush is going to try to follow it up after that mass route by the seven pointer. Game changing win here. The seven pointer was really masked up. That heavy cab really did damage to them. Ottomans have fallen back as Naples probably had a lot of pressure for them. And the heavy cap is dead, but it did its job, guys. It broke a lot of a seven-pointer. Who is now over here. Now this this It's not gonna it's meaningless unless they take some more LOCs. It's gonna be meaningless. The French are still gonna win this. Um, but probably they'll, you know, the Coalition may leave with their heads held a little higher, knowing that they broke the majority of the French army, and it was not an easy fight for them. What is Naples bringing? What is this? See, this is where you just have a unit sit here and shoot them. where you just gotta be nice slow and steady here i'm just i'm just see if the coalition actually counterattack. if not then it's just gonna be a shoot match i'll just skip to the end if that's the case if they don't do anything but exchange volleys back and forth for the rest of the you know eight minutes um i'll just skip to the end here all right we got the ottomans pushing this far side that they withdrew from with naples using their cavalry taking out some artillery pieces and then going for a square sending in some infantry as well this may be their big chance to, you know, push out. They have six minutes. They definitely can't get uh, very far. I mean, the one-pointer is right here. Where is it? I don't know. It's right here. Ah, uh, that may not be... Yeah, it's probably not enough distance. But still, once again, trying the best at the end of the charge here. Naples managed to repel it. Shoot them in the face. Got some more cavalry it's trying to get into the action. Used all its ammunition, Russia doesn't have much left, man.
and they're gonna fall back here. So I, I, I suspect, um, keeping like, well, is something gonna happen? Is something not gonna happen? Russia will take two or three volleys, and his whole army's gonna melt. I mean, 30, 27, 27 men, you know, just small, small units. Um, <clears throat> however, you do have Austria's, you know, he has some troops, you have the seven pointer. He could try to go for some LOCs, but I don't see up. any of those. And technically, I think there's only one LOC, and that's this one point that's being taken. So no one else seems to have focused on him, which is totally fine. You know, when it comes to the battle match, or a death match in a way, maybe that's what Our they're doing. Our men are running, sir. Um, if that's what they're doing, I still would say, unless, unless this fight, this charge here goes very well for the Russians, this is going to still be a Imperial victory. Both sides may mutually break at the same time, or not. I mean, Ottomans had so many troops left. But oh, at this point, I think I'll just skip to the end, guys, so we can see the results here of this, uh, what I'm going to call an Imperial win, unless something changes. So, All right, guys, so this one was sent in by the Russian player, posted by the Russian player, who you can see the Cav Guard, his cavalry did amazingly well. Russian Cav usually does. I mean, they got some really good deaths, or kills, I should say. Um, but let's pull up the actual resorts here, so you can see the 8-point Ottoman player. He got 1,090 kills, and I apologize for the quality. Well, this is the best quality I could find for the results. Um, but then you have the 7-point Austria uh, with 669 for the kills. And then you have the other 9-point Austria uh, with 996. You have the Russian player 10-pointer with 1642. Most kills on his team. And in fact, most kills on any of the teams. Um, and then on the other side, you have a 7-point France Russia Sud. Um, a 6-point Napoli with 734 for the kills. You have the 11 pointer Russia center with 1361. And then the 10 point France Espana with 1241. So uh some really good kills, really good play on both sides. Really enjoyed it. It was a good it was a good uh balanced battle for the most part. Up until it wasn't. <laughs> I don't know what else you can really say about it, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um that'll be it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I will catch you all in another video.